Welcome to this Body Awakening uh, Movement session today from beautiful uh, Malulaba in Queensland. Let's take a seat on your mat, elongate the spine, so really, really sit tall. And we'll do that T-zone. So drawing up from the pelvic floor and drawing the muscles in the lower abdomen out towards the hip bones. And let's place the hands on the knees and let's just take a moment to center ourselves. So close your eyes and start to connect with your breath. So we're gonna inhale through the nose and we're gonna exhale through the mouth. So nice deep inhalations. And when you inhale, feel that you're filling the lungs up with air and it's moving sideways and in towards the back. So expanding out towards the side, in towards the back. And when you breathe out, feel the narrowing of the rib cage and a gentle drawing up from the pelvic floor. So let's keep that going. Nice big inhalations and exhale. Just becoming aware of that core, that center we're working from. Inhaling nice and deep and exhale. So creating a stronger center, stronger core as we breathe out. Keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed and down. And just tuning into our body this morning. Coming into our body, becoming acutely aware of how the body is feeling today and when we're moving. So you can work at the level that really works well for you. Just another couple of deep breaths. And one more. And then slowly and gently open up your eyes there. All right, let's start just rounding off the back, drawing their center nice and tight, chin towards the chest, and then sitting up nice and tall. So we'll do that seated cat and cow stretch. So rounding off the back, breathing out, and breathing in up. Just working through that back. Inhaling up and exhaling back and down. Inhale up. Couple more. And one last one. And as you come up sitting tall, just continue walking forward with your hands on the ground, gently dropping your knees closer to the ground and feeling that stretch across the buttocks, across the lower back and the groin. It's a nice and gentle stretch here as we start off. Maybe reaching a little bit further. And then slowly and gently take it back up. And let's take that outside leg out towards the side, hand on the inside, turn sideways and do a little side stretch this way. Just gently holding it, starting off gently. Reaching, reaching over. And then slowly and gently up. Let's take that leg to the inside and let's walk the hands forward again. So it's nice and long spine as you can hold here. Good. Making sure we are continuing our breath. When we hold the poses, never holding our breath. All right, walk the hands back, take that leg out towards the side. Same on this side, hand on the inside, reaching up and over. And a gentle little hold here as well. Good. 
reaching, reaching over. You can even turn your head so you're looking from the underneath the armpit up towards the ceiling. And then slowly and gently up. Let's bring the legs out to a comfortable position wide. Reach up and I'd like you to lift your arms up. So you're lifting your shoulder blades up and then you drop them down. Let's just do it a couple of times up. So we make sure we've got the shoulder blades where they should be in that big pocket in the middle of the back. Lifting up and dropping down, holding it here. Now rounding off the back, C-shaped spine forward as we breathe out. And then restack the bones one on top of the other coming up. So breathing out, rounding off the body, T zone as you're coming down. And inhale up, just remembering always to T stone. Exhale for wind it down. Inhale up. We're going to work through that spine to warm it up. Exhale forward. Inhale, back and up. Another three here. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back and up. Two more. Exhale, forward. Inhale. And one last one. Exhale, forward. Let's hold it here for a moment. Make sure we're not holding our breath. Let's stretch through that back. Let's really scoop the belly. That's it. And then slowly and gently back and up. Bring your hands behind you. We're going to bring the legs together and bring the hands towards the buttocks or slightly out towards the side. All right, from there, we're going to bend down and we're going to let our shoulders drop a little bit forward. And then we're going to lift up and we're going to go the other way. Lift up and stretch the chest. So inhale, back and down. Exhale, lift it up here, rolling those shoulders back and down. Really open up through the heart. Inhaling, back and down. Exhaling up, really work through that chest and the shoulders. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. One more time. And we're going to hold it for a few breaths as we come up here. So lift up as high as you can. Really stretch your fingers out as well. That's it. Really, really open up that chest. Opening up the heart. Now for you guys that want a little bit more challenge, dig the heels in and lift your pelvis up to this position here. Let's hold it for a few seconds. That's optional. You know, always give options. It's up to you if you want to do it or not. All right, slowly and gently down. And let's take it up here, bring the arms forward in front of you and then open up one arm to the side as you breathe out and breathe in, take it back. Exhale, open up and inhale back. Let's do a few here. Let's get as much twist happening as we can. And let's keep that pelvis still. So we're not moving our feet. And as we twist, we want to really, really make sure we T-zone here. Exhale. Nice big twist. Inhale back. Couple more. Exhale. Twist. Inhale back. One last one. All right. Let's hold it in front. We're going to do a little roll back. So we'll start C-shaping spine down. Make sure we're staying really strong. Let's do a little hold as we hold. We're going to lift the arms up. We're going to take them out towards the side and we're going to take them to the front. And then we're going to sit up tall. We're going to lift up and we're going to take it to the side and to the front. All right, let's do that a few times. C-shape down to the position where you feel that's enough for you. It doesn't have to be too low. Lift up, that should get a bit harder, a little bit harder again in front. And then sit up tall, lengthening the spine out towards the side, in front. Let's keep it going. Down, a little bit of a challenge. Lift, so you've got to really think about the abs here. Good, up to the top. Good, out towards the side. 
in front. Let's do it. Maybe go a little bit deeper if you want more challenge. What we're going to do, we're going to do two circles as we're holding it there for a little bit more challenge. Okay, let's do it. Take it down. So we're going to go around twice. So this is one, two, whoa. Make sure you stay strong. Let's take it up. Just one circle as you come up. Good. Well done. Let's do it again. Take it down. Two circles. Really, really T-zone here. Belly drawn in. Good. Without holding your breath, let's take it up. We've got two more. Let's do it again. Down. One, two, good work. We can do it one more time. One last one. Let's do it. Take it down. Whoa. One, two, good work. Bit of a warm up for the abs. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's do a spine stretch forward. So round off the back, C-shaped spine, nose aiming to get closer to the knees. And then inhale back and up. So exhale forward and down. And inhale back and up. Exhale forward and down. Inhale back and up. Good work. And one last time. And let's hold it a little bit longer there. So take it forward. You can place the hands, fingers on the ground. Let's make that C-shaped spine a really, really T-zone. Feeling that stretch along the spine there, lower back, mid back. Breathing into the back. And then slowly and gently come up. All right, we're going to roll down to the mat and do a little bit of mat work here for the abs before we do some leg work standing up. So roll back or come down the way you want to come down. Reach over, bend up your legs about 90 degrees, hip width apart, and our neutral hip bone and pubic bone on the same plane and T-zone. And from there, we're going to exhale up and we're going to inhale back and down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Let's keep that going a little bit quicker. Breathing out up. Breathing in down. Breathing out up. In back down. Now, a little bit of variation. We're going to lift one leg up. And we're going to take it back down. Exhale up. Inhale back down. Let's keep that going. Keep a strong center. Don't release your abs. You want to keep that T zone. Breathing out up. Breathing in down. Good. Okay, one more time, and we're going to hold one leg up. We're going to hold it up there. Let's hold it here. Okay, really T zone. What we're going to do is keep that neutral. We're going to lower the leg. We're going to lift it back up. We're going to lower it. Stay really strong. Lift it back up. Two more. Lower it. Lift it back up. One more. Lower it. Lift it back up. And now take it down. We're going to do the same on the other side. Let's take it up. Lower it. Back up, lower it, back up, two more, keeping that strong core, lower it, back up, one more, lower it, back up, and take it all the way down, good work, hands by your side, let's imprint the spine, okay, let's imprint the spine, okay, let's lift one leg up to tabletop, and then the second leg up. 
All right, so what we're going to do here is the leg stretch. So we're going to breathe out as we take it away, breathe in back, breathe out. Now, some of you might find your abs are popping up. It is too hard for you. So what you do then is one leg down, just do this one leg instead. And I will tell you when to change it over. Okay, this one is harder. You've got to imprint the spine for two legs up making sure you're staying really, really strong. Good. Keep strong. Okay, I've got a harder option for you. I'm gonna give it to you soon. But if you're working on one leg only, swap over legs. And if you wanna to go to the third option, lift up to the tip of the shoulder blades and let's keep it going. Now I know it's gonna burn the abs here a little bit. That's what we want. Extending it slowly back, extend back, exhale. We've got four more team, four more, three. Two, one, and then slowly and gently lower yourself down. One leg down at a time. Good work. Little release there. If you want, just sway the knees from side to side gently here. Just as a little release in between. Okay, and then back to center. All right, hands behind your head. We're in neutral. And we're going to take it to the opposite side here and back down. So we're going to alternate here. We're going to go a little bit quicker today. So we're going to breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. That's it. Keep that going. <coughs> Whoopsie. Exhale. Exhale. Squeeze it across here. Ribs to hip connection all the time. Four, three, two, one, and a little rest. Okay, we're going to do that one again. Same thing. If you want to go harder, you're going to follow me. Otherwise, you do the same again. The harder one, imprint the spine, lift one leg up at a time, lift up to the tip of your shoulder blades and take it to the opposite knee, back to center, opposite knee, center. Okay, so you can go with the first option or this one. All right, let's do it. Exhale away, inhale back, exhale away, inhale back. Getting into the obliques here. <coughs> Last four, three, two, one, and then slowly and gently draw the knees towards the chest here. Good work team, a little sway from side to side there. Fantastic, good, good, good work. All right, feet back down to the ground, closer to the buttocks this time. We're going to get into a little bit of butt work again before we stand up and work our legs. So hip width apart. We're going to start to flatten out the back and we're going to start to roll one vertebrae up the spine, up into the shoulder bridge and then slowly and gently down again. Nice and slowly. So lifting, lifting up. Inhale up the top, exhale back and down. Inhale down the bottom, working your way up one vertebrae at a time. Just really opening up through the spine here, creating a little bit more space in between the vertebrae. And then next time you come up, let's hold it up the top here. 
All right, what we're going to do is either lift the heel up like so and drop it down, or we lift the knee up above the hip and drop it down. We're going to start on that left side. So lift up and drop back down. Lift up, drop back down. Really important that you keep the hips level. So if you want to check with your hands there, and if you find your hip drop, then make sure you just lift the heel up. All right, really, really important. And particularly also, if you've got a bit of a sore lower back, just do the heel lift. Inhaling up, exhaling back down. Inhaling up, exhaling back down. Working that right thigh as we're lifting up right side of the buttocks. Three more. Two. <clears throat> One. And let's swap over to the other side. Lift the right heel up, drop it back down. Or lift the leg up and drop it back down. Lift up, tap down. Lift up, tap down. Lift and tap. Good work, working that left side here now. Good stuff. Working at your level. Let's do four more. Good, three more, two, one, and drop that there. Now lift the hips up a little bit higher, really squeeze the buttocks, then go halfway down. Let's lift up again, halfway down. Good work, lift, really squeeze the buttocks, halfway. Really getting into the buttocks here. And lifting, lifting up. We try to open up through the hip flexor as we come up. Good. Four more. Three. Two. And let's lift it up, hold it here. Let's lift both heels up on the same time and drop it down. Let's squeeze it up, drop it back and down. Just really keep those hips nice and open. We're nearly there. Lifting up, drop back down, lift, get into the buttocks. Last four team, four, three, two, and one, and then slowly and gently take it back and down. Good work, arms out to the sides and just sway the legs from side to side here. Good work. All right, let's slowly and gently roll over to the side, come up onto hands and knees and from here, <coughs> just a little cat and cow stretch. So we're lifting up, stretching that back out, dropping down, head up and forward. Exhale up, inhale back and down. Exhale up, inhale back and down. Exhale up, nice and high. Inhale, drop down, one last one. Hold it up the top here without holding your breath. Hold it, hold it. Good work. All right. From there, sit back towards the buttocks, rib cage towards the chest. Just a little nice stretch here. And then look forward and then slowly and gently do that wave coming forward into a plank position on the knees here. We're gonna keep our neutral spine, really, really T-sign. 
And if you find you want to go harder, you pop up onto your feet, you hold it here, like we are doing a push up. We're not going to do one though, we're going to hold this plank position without holding our breath. And then drop the knees down and again flatten out the feet, come back on to that child's pose position. Two deep breaths as we hold it here. And then take it forward, way forward again into the plank position, holding it here or curling the toes under, lifting up, holding it. Neutral spine position. Good work, team. Let's hold it here. Without holding our breath, let's drop the knees down and let's sit back into that child's pose again. <sighs> And let's roll forward one more time into that plank position, holding it. Come up onto the toes, lift up here. Let's hold it. Let's stay strong team here. We can do it. Okay, so what we're going to do from here, if you're on the knees, you walk your hands towards the knees. If you're on the feet, walk your hands towards the feet. Eventually you pop up onto your feet there. You soften the knees a little bit and you sink forward. Our belly and chest comes towards the thighs and we want to stretch out there. We can go a little bit from side to side. Nice and gently rotating. And then from there, stay in the middle <clears throat> and a spine roll up from a strong center, rolling one vertebrae at a time, stacking them on top of each other. Standing up nice and tall and then reach up towards the sky. Hands together and as they are together, stuck together. We are doing a squat here. So we're sitting back doing a squat. Neutral spine, little hold. We reach up. Okay, we're going to do a few squats here. So inhale down. Neutral spine, exhale back and up. Really controlled. Inhale down. Sitting back, whole foot on the ground and come back up. Let's keep it going. Inhale down and exhale back and up. Inhaling down, exhale back and up. Let's keep it going. Inhale down, exhale up. One more time. We're going to hold it down there. Make sure you keep your chest up, heel is on the ground. Hold it here. Good work, challenge your legs. And slowly back and up and bring your hands to the hips here now. All right, we're gonna soften the knees a little bit, neutral spine. And what we're gonna do is just to start tapping out towards the side. So just a gentle tap, shifting the weight across. Just a little tap to the side. That's it. Good work. Little tap. Little tap. We're going to challenge your legs here today. Good. All right, let's stay on the same side. Keep tapping on this side. And we're working through this leg. Good. Working through that leg. Ooh. Two more. One more. Hold it here. Tap that leg back. Just behind you. You've got the weight on this leg. What we can do is to add the arms. We want to stretch it back. Stretch. That's it. Imagine you're holding weights and you're pushing it back here. Straightening out the arms, working the triceps, pushing it back. That's it. Beautiful. Ooh, starting to feel it here on that leg. Last four, three, two, one, and then take it back and up. Good work. All right, let's soften it again here. All right, we're going to work on this side. So we just keep tapping on that side. 
<coughs> just a tap. Good. Working through this leg. Just a tap out. Good. All right, let's tap behind us and let's extend those arms again, working the triceps. Good work. Extend. Extend. Good work. Last three. Really squeeze the arms. Two. One. Well done. Take it up again. Good work. Let's step out to a nice wide position. We're going to come into the warrior pose, the second warrior. So we want this foot pointing straight forward. We want this foot pointing out to the side. All right, hands on the hips. Tuck that tailbone under a little bit and then sink down. So we want to make sure that knee stays behind the toes. So we're going to keep working into that pose a few times. So we inhale down and we exhale up. And you can be careful with the knees there. You don't need to hyperextend it coming up, but you want to work the quad. So inhaling down, exhaling up. Okay, and we can add the arms to that. So let go here and reach out and slowly bring it back again. Inhale down, exhale back and up. Let's keep working through here. All right, can we hold it for the next one? Okay, making sure that you are sinking down, chest lifted, and then you can turn your eyes towards past the fingers there, Superman vision, past the fingers, lifting that chest up. Good work holding it, feeling those legs being really grounded, pressing down, equal pressure here, really, really grounded, feeling strong. Okay, let's take this arm down to the thigh. Let's reach all the way over. Let's do a nice big reach over. And we're gonna come back to reaching the arms out towards the side. So slowly bring the arms up. I know your leg's gonna feel it. Let's hold it just a little bit longer here. I know you feel a little bit of a burn here. Last four, three, two, one, take it back and up and let's switch over to the other side. So this foot forward, this foot out towards the side. Let's sink down as we inhale, as we exhale, come back up. So inhale down, exhale back and up, sinking down, slowly back and up. Just watching so this knee doesn't come beyond the toes. All right, let's do it with our arms, reaching up and slowly back, reaching out, slowly back. Two more. And one more, and let's hold it here. Let's challenge that leg. Let's be proud as a warrior here. Lift your chest up. Tuck that tailbone slightly under. T-zone, of course. Superman vision, past the fingers. Keep breathing. And then take this arm down to the thigh, reach right over. Nice big reach over. Good work. Fantastic. And then slowly and gently bring the arms up. We've got the last little hold here. Let's squeeze it. Let's hold it. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly and gently come up there. Good work. Turning both feet slightly out towards the side here. Actually, we're going to point the forward. <laughs> we're going to point the forward. All right, a little bit soft knees. <coughs> and then we're going to pivot. 
right forward from our hips and we can have the hands just above the knee there. All right, this is gonna stretch the hamstrings out. So if you wanna stay here, stay here, that is fine. If you want to drop down, head coming down towards the ground, arms around the calves, pull yourself closer. And if you're a little bit more flexible, stretch out your legs more. Let's hold it here. <sighs> Even pressure underneath both feet there as we hold it, as we stretch it out. Good work. Maybe a little bit straighter legs. And then soften the knees a little bit. Place your hands, if they're not already, above the knees there. And then come all the way up to the top again. Good. Once you're up, step a little bit closer. We're going to come into a sumo squat. So toes are slightly out. Be a little bit closer on the legs there. And we're going to drop down nice and deep. And we're going to squeeze it on the way up. It's going to inhale down. We're going to exhale squeeze the thighs together and lift up inhale down exhale back and up good work down and back up here inhale down exhale back and up inhale down exhale squeeze it up inhale all right, guess what? We're going to hold it down the bottom. Take it down, hold it here. Now, like a little crab, we're going to take it from side to side. Just a little movement across, across. Good. Ooh, getting into the legs here. All right, back to center. Hold it here. Lift one heel up, then the other heel up. Whoa, let's keep it nice and low. We haven't got too long to go now. Doing really well. Lifting up. Lowry. Lifting. Lowry. Good work. All right. Both heels down. Crab again. Let's go from side to side. A little bit of a movement here. Side to side. Good work. Well done. Not long to go. One more and then back to center again. Lift the heel up one more time from side to side. Good. Well done. We can do it. Legs are burning. Four more. Three, you're doing really well team. Two, one, last bit. We're gonna go down, back up. We're gonna do a few here. Down, back up, inhale down, exhale up, neutral spine, inhale down, exhale up, last four, I promise, last four, three, two more, one more, and hold it back and up. Well done, team. Bring your legs together. <coughs> oh, goodness me. That was a bit of leg work, eh? What we're going to do, we're going to place one leg forward, toes up, and we are going to have the hands behind it. We're going to slowly come into a little hamstring stretch here as we're standing up. Fantastic work. Feeling that left hamstring stretch out. And then take it up, step that left leg a little bit further forward and then bend through that left leg. Press the right heel into the ground. Interlock the fingers at the front, press the hands away from you. Lift up the top, lift the chest up through your shoulder blades back and down. Good. And then slowly release. Let's do a swap over here. Right heel on the ground. 
pivot from the hip there. Nice long spine, toes up on the right foot. Good. And slowly and gently up, let's bend through that right leg, press the left heel down, and again interlock the hands, press it away, reach up, lift the chest up. Good work. Yeah. All right, release, step together. We'll see if we can balance. <laughs> if you need to hang on to something, you can. I can hang on here to the tree. Grab hold of the ankle. All right. We're going to push that left hip forward as we draw the left heel towards the buttocks. And if you can flex the foot on that left leg, so you're holding around the ankle rather than the toes, then feel that stretch all across the left thigh. Hold it there. Bit of leg work today. Bit of ab work. And release. Let's do it on the other side. Let's grab hold of the ankle. Flex the foot. Bring your knees in line with each other. Draw that heel towards the buttocks. Fantastic. Good work. Well done. Let's release and let's just take a seat to finish off with some deep breaths here. So crossing your legs, hands on the knees here, nice relaxed shoulders, just lengthen up. I'm just gonna get you to close your eyes and become aware of your breath here again. It might be a little bit high, the heart rate, and we'll just spend a minute or two here, get the heart rate down and more relaxed again. So breathing deeply into the sides and exhale through the mouth. And as you sit here and you're breathing deeply, just bring your attention to something you're really grateful for today. Bring that into your awareness. And just feel yourself with gratitude. Also thanking yourself for today, being part of this workout in this beautiful spot here up in Queensland in Australia, Malulaba. Bring your hands to the heart in prayer position. And then slowly and gently open up your eyes. Namaste, everyone. And thank you so much for joining me for this session today. I look forward to seeing you in the next session.